Hi everyone, this is Astarlina and this is the second episode of my tribute to the most amazing saga of the entire universe. I saw the movie the other day and oh my god that was amazing. I'm still excited so sorry if I'm a little bit too happy during this video. But well, let's get down to business, shall we? The first DIY I bring you today are these super cute dino jars. For this one, you will need a plastic dinosaur, some glue, a jar and the colors you want your jars to be. The first step is to glue the dinosaur into the center of the lid with your craft glue. I also had this white pot and I wanted to give it a second chance, so I create a kind of a fry ball pattern with some adhesive tape. And then just glue the dinosaur to the lid. Now just take the lids with the dinosaurs and give them a couple of coats in the color you want. And you are almost done! You can leave it like this if you like, but since I always need to overcharge things, I decided to add some extra decoration with different shades of nail polish to create something like a color gradient. You can also outline the pattern you've created with a darker color to help it seal, and you are finished! They are so adorable and even more useful than before! Once I saw a jar with a reindeer on it, but who wants to have a reindeer when you can have a Spinosaur? The next one is this super cute, um, let's say, dino mop. You will need a hard plastic glass, a dinosaur for the handle and a super strong glue. First, we are going to glue the dino handle. Try to glue it just on the middle to make it as comfortable and useful as possible. To be sure that it won't fall apart, you will need a super strong glue. The guy in the shop told me this one was the strongest, but let's get real, I simply picked this one because it had a T-Rex on it. Apply a generous amount on every palm and carefully press it to the glass. Let it dry completely before moving to the next step. Now we are going to paint it. But first, we have to protect the inside part. So with a little bit of adhesive tape, we are going to protect the upper part and then fill the glass with some newspaper. Then, you just need to paint the outside part with some spray paint. And you are almost there. Remove the tape and enjoy your new dino mug. Yay! Oh, and what about this cute dino jeweler. I'm in love with it, it's super bright and shiny and even easier than the other ones. For this you will need a brontosaur, you know, the dinosaur with a long neck and something to be the base. I'm using here a hard plastic plate. Like before, we are going to glue the dinosaur into the middle of the plate with our super strong glue. Put a generous amount of glue on the paws and on the tail and press it in place. Once it's dry, give it a couple of coats in the color of your choice and boom, you are done! This was super easy and it is super cute! And as usual, I left my favorite one till the end and it is this amber mosquito necklace! I wanted to have one of these since I was a little girl and I still want a real one but meanwhile this one is pretty awesome. For this one you will need a necklace base, a clear crystal that you will find at your craft store next to the necklace base, a photo of an amber mosquito and some glue and a clear nail polish. The first step is to create a protective coat with a nail polish all over the image. Once it's completely dry, we are going to cut it and glue it to the bottom of the necklace base. And then, when this is dry, we are going to glue the crystal to the base. 
Be sure that the stone is completely clear before gluing it to the base. Try to make an even coat with the glue to avoid the formation of bubbles. And then let it dry. And voila, you are done! It was super easy to do and trust me, it looks amazing. I hope that with all this super cute decoration you can make your life a little bit more prehistoric. Oh, and be sure to check the first part of this video to see the rest of this awesome DIY. I hope you've liked this video. I put so much love on this DIY, so if you have enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more wonderful and easy, super cute DIYs. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!